Malaysian Minister Datu Sri Sabri leads a delegation here to World SME Expo in Hong Kong. And I believe one of the things that you're particularly interested in is franchising. For Malaysian uh, franchise who showcase the product here, are the registered uh, franchise that they are registered with our uh, Ministry of Domestic Trade, Cooperative and Consumerism. All franchise in Malaysia, either franchisee or franchisor, they must be registered. It's not simple for the franchise to get registered because uh, we have to check the viability of the uh, businesses. Then we have to check the accounts per se, uh, whether it's profitable or not. So in order to, to the franchise or to get the franchise license, they have to go through all various checking by the ministry. This is to protect the interests of the franchisee. So really, how valuable are the franchises that you have on offer? Before we approve any uh, fr uh, franchise company, they must be in active business at least three years based on the Franchise Act. So I believe these franchises range quite widely from food all the way to Islamic pawnbroking. I think just like other countries in the world, FMB is, is the most. In Malaysia also, 30% of our franchise product is FMB. But we encourage our franchisor to be more creative, to get involved in other products. Otherwise, they have to compete with all the famous products involved in FMB, not only from local, but also from overseas. Chicken, for example, you're talking competing with uh, Kentucky, for example. It's not that easy. So uh, we encourage them to get involved in other products, like education, for example. It's becoming very popular now, especially for kindergarten, child care centre. It's become, becoming very popular. But one of our unique products is uh, Aranu. It's Islamic pawnbroking. That is available not only for Muslim, but also for non-Muslim. The difference between the conventional Palm broking and Islamic palm broking is that they don't charge interest. They charge a management fee. So, Minister, what relevance does something like palm broking have to World SME Expo here in Hong Kong and presenting here at the Expo? I know that uh, there are not many Muslims in Hong Kong, but I believe the neighboring area like China, they have many millions of Muslims and they don't have Islamic palm broking yet, either from Malaysia or from other countries. This palm broking more towards lower income group where they are in need immediate cash. And since the repayment is uh, flexi, the re repayment is flexible, I think uh, it's quite suitable for the Hong Kong people also. So I understand the taste of Malaysia, which presents Malaysian cuisine, is a joint venture operation that Malaysian companies have with Hong Kong based firms. In Malaysia, we have, uh, we open up our country for foreign hypermarkets, okay, like Giant, Kafu, Jasco, and Tesco. So in Malaysia, they have to provide 30% of the, of the total product to the locals, 30% inside the, the hypermarket. When we discuss with them, they, I mean, they agreed with us to sell our products in their hypermarkets, their outlets all over the world. 